welcome to today's Bible reading. We're in Matthew chapter 3. In those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, when he said, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John wore a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and all Judea and all the region about the Jordan were going out to him, and they were baptised by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers! Who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit in keeping with repentance. And do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children for Abraham. Even now the axe is laid at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Then came Jesus from Galilee to the Jordan to John to be baptized by him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented. And when Jesus was baptized, immediately he went up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming to rest on him. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Wow, the, the narrative has this, this powerful character, John the Baptist introduced to it. Here's a man who seems fearless. He's able to speak to these people these people who are in positions of authority without fear, without concern for his own welfare or safety. He is, as Jesus says, the greatest of the prophets. And we might think that Jesus is describing John as the greatest of the prophets because he was so bold, he was so courageous, he was so obedient to God. But really, his greatness is because of, of all the other prophets who foretold of Christ, as John did. It was John who introduced Christ to the world. That gives him a, a position of incredible honour. His courage is, is inspirational. I, I think today, before we uh, adopt his manner, we, we might need to also factor in some of the, the things that Jesus modelled and taught as well. So I just hope people factor that in. Let's pray about this. Father, help us to have the courage and the boldness to be able to not fear man, not to be able to recoil when those in positions of authority seek to have us compromise the truth, what is right and what we believe and what we should proclaim. Father, as we see Jesus coming in, in this position of humility, Help us to, to live out uh, in that example of Christ's humility as well as he came to John and was baptised. Today, Father, many of us may be given a choice between taking our rights or re relinquishing our rights in order to be humble followers of Christ. And today I pray you give us the grace to be that. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for watching this and give us a thumbs up if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't already. You'll see the, the, the button in the, in the lower corner there in a moment. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another Daily Bible Reading.